I'm trying to make you balance there. Hello, everybody. Happy hump day. It's a Wednesday. Uh, yesterday I did go out in the world, but I didn't film. I didn't feel like it. We went to Aldi. Because our, our refrigerator was basically empty. And I made a list. I said, Dad, we got to go to the grocery store. So I went to Aldi. Um, you know, me and my produce. So basically our fridge is now full of... Well, I cleaned those fresh pineapple, which were really good. Dad bought more cherries. I bought lettuce, peppers, carrots, celery. We have cucumbers in there. Zucchini. Grandma brought us some zucchini today out of her garden. The, the cucumbers came from Larry's garden. Uh, where's this? They pull through. A veggies. Hi, kitty. Hi. You want to come up and say hi? Dale, say hi to everybody. Say, I don't like to be held. Okay, okay. There we go. Bye-bye. Got your tail. She's like, no, you don't. She jumped down. Um, so we went to Aldi. Then I scooted across to Meyer, and Dad met me over there. Got um, some things to make my cottage cheese dessert, which is on in my playlist for cooking, which it isn't cooking, it's just mixing. Which is like cottage cheese, Cool Whip, orange jello, some canned fruits, a little, a few little walnuts broke up in there. That's pretty much what I have for dinner tonight. Um, the chicken I had laid out was no bueno. It was, um, been in the freezer too long, was a little slimy-ish, and I'm like, Dad, chuck it. Not taking a chance of getting me no berry berry. And he got up this morning and went and had a haircut. He gets up early and goes like 8. And um, then he went to Lowry's Meat Market and got some... He got me some smoked sliced ham, because I'm a ham, not ham, turkey, because I'm a turkey person. He got some salami. I need to get some ham. So um, in these next couple of hot days, we'll have like salads and cold cut sandwiches because we don't want to turn on the oven or stove or anything like that. Um, I did get some stuff that I can make little pizzas in my toaster oven. I feel like it. And then today, Grandma called this morning and said, if I come up there with my renewals for my license and my tags, it says on there it could be done online. So I said, bring it on up. So she sat in here with me and I uh, renewed her tags on her vehicle and her license. And gave her all her little printouts. And I said, they'll be coming in the mail. So. She's like, I'm so glad you could do it because I don't like going over to the license bureau. Uh, and I told her, I don't think anybody really does. I like when I have the option of doing it online. Uh, then I had to go to the eye doctor. Somebody is graduating into bifocals. These glasses... Um, I looked at some frames there. It's a very small little practice, and he's retiring. He stopped. He's going to stop taking patients uh, October 31st. Um, it'll be his 50-year anniversary. Uh, my grandma has been going to him since the beginning, since he was fresh. When he was fresh out of school, he practiced with a guy named Dr. Barnes. And then when he got, you know, to where he could get a practice of his own, he got his own practice and grandma moved with him so she's been with him since he was a young man and uh we were talking about that up there he goes your grandma's a good one she's a good lady i said yeah i know i got a good grandma she's my only grandparent left all all the girls up there like my grandma he knew my grandma was too little but when i the girls don't didn't quite get the connection until they're like well who is your grandma i said tula curl they're like oh yeah we love her um, I, t I told Dr. Benedict, I said, um, just so you know, if your ears were burning the other day, we were talking about you, about what we're going to do now that you're going to retire. <clears throat> Where are we going to go? Who's going to be our new doctor? Because he's been mine since I was in the seventh grade. He's been the only person that's ever messed with the eyeballs. I got dilated today. My glaucoma test came out good. Dilated, he looked back in my peepers. 
and then uh, with that amber thing and then when he turns on the light everything's purple it was strange um but they have a very small selection of frames and they i need since i have to get bifocals see these frames here they have to be a little bit deeper just a tiny bit deeper than these which i'm not a fan of the big the big ones this way but she said just a little bit more is it okay? We tried on a few there. I found some I like, but none of them I like can work for bifolds. Hmm. So I took my prescription. I'm going to go look at a facility that has more to choose from and see if I can find something. <sighs> this eye has gotten worse than this eye. So there's been a change, let's just say. I'm more blind than I used to be. It was funny. I had my glasses off and they were sitting on the counter. and uh, I said, man, everything, everything in here is blurry. She goes, yeah, with your prescription, I would imagine. I'm like, are you trying to say I'm blind? She goes, I've seen people worse than you, but I'm saying you have a very high prescription. <laughs> I was joking around with her. So then we left there and came home and got the Heidi Ho. Took her for a little cruise. Uh filled up the gas tank in the van because I was getting down to the red line. Don't like the red line. <clears throat> and since it's so hot, I know I'm gonna, not going to take the scooter out. I just filled the whole thing up. Because we don't like to keep it full, full when the scooter's in the back because that's a lot of weight in the back of the van. So, I know I'm not going to be going anywhere in that soon. Too darn hot. So I said, Dad, fill her up as much as you can get in there. Because wherever we go anywhere, we're going to be in the AC van. We took a ride, just a ride, nowhere in particular. Tomorrow, I gotta get up, take paychecks up to the shop. Tomorrow's payday, and I know Noah, for a fact, is probably itching to get that paycheck, because he always is. And um, this is the most uh, paychecks I've done in one payroll. I've never had a stack like I do now, because we've got three new people on payroll. So, um, when Ron sent me the hours, I'm used to just a list of a couple, and that's like, boop, and I'm like, man. But, Ronnie says the team seems to be doing well, so that is a good thing. And, we got another fair who wants a bid from us. Uh, actually, our local fair, the Berrien County Youth Fair, which is the fair I showed at as a child. <clears throat> I showed rabbits. I took in, I did not cross-stitch one year. Uh, what all have I entered at the fair? All kinds of vegetables, flower arrangement. Um, I was that nerdy kid that as soon as the fair book came out, I was looking to see what the categories were, what I was going to plant in my garden, what I might be able to make. Um, so there were so many kids who would just like enter one thing to get the free pass. I was not the easy kid. I was the one like, I'm going to enter stuff in the fair. <laughs> My parents were thrilled when I went to the animal aspect. I, I just stuck with the rabbit, so. Uh, I had a harlequin, beautiful rabbit. I know I've talked about in the past, if you look up harlequin rabbits, they look like a calico cat, they're, but they're, it's hard to say, but they're beautiful. Um, I can tell my eyes are still a little wonky. Um, but I love the fair as a kid. I need to dig. I have a couple pictures of me with some of my rabbits at the fair. I just don't know where they are. I think that's probably around the time I had a really bad perm. I think when I did animals, I was probably like 15. Because I didn't do animals until I was a little older. Up until then, I just did like vegetables and fruits and things. One year, I even I grew Indian corn to enter it. <clears throat> I just planted it in a circle out in the back because we had a huge garden when I was young. So my neighbor lady and I would just, we'd say, that chunk is ours, and she'd go out and help me plant things, and sometimes I had a dog named Winnie um, years ago, and I would uh, strap her to my wagon, and she and I would walk out to the garden, she'd pull my wagon, and I would pick extra produce, and then me and her would walk the wagon up to the front, and I would sell produce up by the road. Oh, I was that kid. I thought it was so fun for me. I'm just yakking tonight. I have no purpose. 
blinking at you. So, tomorrow I have my account coming over. We have projects to do. I'm going to have her help me gather the stuff I need for a workman's comp audit we have coming on Monday. What time is that, I wonder? I'm sure it's in this email. I, let's, I don't even know what time this appointment is. Does it even say? Oh, yes. It doesn't say what time. It says they'll just be calling to confirm the appointment for Monday. My job is to just to um, gather the information and take it to the shop. That's my job. Then the guy can go there and talk to who's ever at the shop. Probably Michelle. I think she's there on Monday. Michelle's Ronnie's wife, and Ronnie is my business partner. Just trying to connect the dots to get you where you need to go. All right, I'm rolling out. Kitty didn't even say good hi. Kitty. No, she's mad because I picked her up. She is not a pick-me-up kind of cat. Oh, I want to tell you about something. These things that were sent to me by Running Komodo, totally refresh. These things are awesome. In a pack, you get one of these. It's a resealable pack. And there's these little moist, which is a weird word, I know, uh, towelettes. But they, like if, like I came in one day and it was hot and sweaty and felt, you know how you feel, ugh. And then you get one of these out, you just wipe your brow down and the ta-tas smells good makes you feel so much cooler and refreshed good stuff right there yes all right goodbye i will see you later